Indiana Latino Expo Show. En este segmento nuevo que tenemos en María de León y Fabio Yataco van a estar entrevistando a Jessica Ledesma y van a conversar acerca de su participación en el Axis Leadership Program. Este programa es para jóvenes profesionales entre las edades de 21 a 28 años en participación con la ciudad de Indianapolis. Aquí les dejo la entrevista. Welcome everyone to our first ever Access Participant Spotlight segment where we will highlight the different career journeys of Latinx professionals in our city. My name is Fabio Yotaco, co-founder of the Access Professional Leadership Program. And I am Maria De Leon, a student at Butler University and Access alum. And we will be your hosts for this new monthly segment on the ILE Show. Today we have the one and only Jessica Ledesma, 2020 Access Participant, Welcome, Jessica. We're excited to have you as our first interviewee for the Access Participant Spotlight. And today's topic will focus on the power of mentorship and how it's had an impact in Jessica's life. Hi, thank you so much for having me. <laughs> We're so eager to learn from you, Jessica, and to get to know you a little bit better. So to start off, uh, can you tell us a little bit about yourself and tell us you know, what interested you in applying to the Access Leadership Program and what has been your biggest takeaway thus far? Yes, of course, no, thank you. So um, as I've mentioned, my name is Jess or Jessica. Um, I am a graduate of Indiana University. I studied secondary English education um, and now work for Starfish Initiative, a mentoring program in Indianapolis. Um, I decided to uh, you know, join Access because this was the first group that really felt like it was made for people like me. Um, and, you know, it was something uh, walking into the room that first day was amazing getting to see all of the people and um, the big takeaway that I've had so far, um, very enlightening is just, um, there is no right or wrong way to be a Latina. Um, whether you are white, brown, black, uh, gay, disabled, uh, native speaker or not, um, you're welcome at Access and, and that has been amazing and eye opening for me. Awesome. So for those who may not know, Starfish is an organization that offers a unique one-on-one -on -one mentoring program for high school students. Um, so now in the getting into the topic of mentorship, um, Jessica, you and I both know the value of having a mentor and the impact that it can have in someone's life. Um, but for those who may not know, can you explain to us what a mentor is? Yes, of course. No. Um, so I think we all have a general idea of what a mentor is. Um, the biggest thing is I see a mentor as someone who is your cheerleader, someone who can help guide you, um, support you, someone who is just there to lend a helping hand and that you trust them, they trust you, and, and there's this mutual respect uh, between you two. And so, um, yeah, I think mentorship is just all about that. It is, you know, learning and growing through other people with their help and uh, with their experiences and knowledge. Yeah, I could not agree more, Jessica. I think it's thankful to a lot of mentors that I've had that have helped me to be here today. And I could not honestly say I could not have been here without them. So shout out to my mentors. But um, so tell us, uh, Jessica, who has been a mentor for you and, and how have they impacted your life? Great question. Yes. So um, I have been fortunate to have very uh, a very large number of mentors in my life unofficially. Um, the, first, the biggest one that pops into my head is actually my high school band teacher. Um, you know, it's that time where you're growing um, and you don't know a lot about yourself. You're asking the question of who am I? Um, and he was someone who was there to support me and push me. He recognized and saw um, a value and a skill in me that I had not seen in myself. And so, um, you know, he became someone that I really trusted and went to uh, throughout high school. And so that that is definitely a mentor. But of course, you know, I've had so many throughout the years. I just I, can't, I don't have the time to mention them all. <laughs> Yeah, so I know, you know, it can maybe be intimidating to um, look for a mentor because, you know, there could be a process. So what steps I would ask um, should a Latinx student or professional take in order to establish that mentor relationship with someone? 
Yeah, no, that is definitely the first step I find uh, is probably the most difficult. And a lot of times, you know, you sometimes just fall into those mentor relationships. Um, but if you're looking for that, you're seeking that guidance, um, the biggest thing is to just have that conversation, you know, go to someone, um, be honest, you know, these are things that I want to work on. I see this in you, um, the, the value in you and your knowledge. Can we, you know, sit down and talk every once in a while? Um, it's something that simple, you know, it's just having that conversation with someone um, and, you know, recognizing their value and they recognize it in you and, and uh, building that relationship on trust. I could not agree more. Yeah, um, that is, you guys have been spot on tonight. Uh, Jessica, I just want to thank you so much for taking just a few minutes of your day to join us tonight. It's been so great to get to know you just a little bit better. And, uh, and thank you everyone for tuning in. Uh, we look forward to continue having these uh, interviews. And next month, we will be going over entrepreneurship with Access participant Alejandro de los Santos. And we look forward to seeing you there. Yes, thank you everyone. Y padres, por favor, asegúrense de informarle a sus hijos sobre estos videos tan importantes y informativos. Gracias. Indiana Latino Expo Show.